Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Doodle Robot and today we're going to look at my a couple of whips, a couple of announcements, and then we're going to look at books that I really want to touch this year in 2024. So without further ado, let's get started. One of the announcements, and I'll have another one later in the in the video here, the coloring group that I'm one of the administrators in, um, formerly known as Mid-Century Modern Animals, has decided to change and we're going to be working for a few times, I think, in daydreams for a little while in 2024. So that was Mid-Century Modern Animals. And the one we're doing for January is this one, the Curious Cat one. So just kind of an updated version of that. If you want to join that group, let me or Carrie K know, and we get you signed up. All right, so that's one to be done in January. I'm still doing gorilla shooting here, so you'll hear books flying to the floor. Sorry about that. All right, whips. Whips from this year. From this year, I have two whips. You've seen them, so you could fast forward through this. If you watched my last video, you've seen them uh, if you want to. Although I've gotten a little bit farther on this one. This is a wallpaper page from Occult and Folklore. It just entered there. Moving along a little bit. And hopefully this weekend I'll be maybe finishing up most of the furniture in my studio here. Maybe. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I did absolutely nothing today. I was just exhausted. So I didn't build any furniture. That is one of my whips in this book, Occult and Folklore. And the other whip, these are from this year, or last year, 2023, is the Madonna page, Madonna and Cat page, uh, which is underway. So those are both from, I. this one might be from late, late, late November, or the other one's from December, so. Those are kind of new, fresh whips. And then I have four whips left from still, <laughs> even though my goal was not to have the any. Left from 2022. So we've got the Sherlock Holmes page. That was an altered page. I discussed altering it in a video way back in 2022. It's pretty much still in the same place it was. This is going to have collage elements to it and such. That is The Magical City by Lizzie Mary Cullen. I've got one in Mythomorphia by Kirby. The troll page? Are those trolls? Gnomes? Maybe they're gnomes, not trolls. I don't know what they are. Uh, this page, it's so close to being done, too, but it remains a whip from 2022. And the last two are buddy colors, again, from 20... Oh, this one might be from 2023, actually. I could be wrong. Maybe this one is from this year. I'm not sure. This is the Night Voyage. This is a whip and a buddy color with Colored by Maya. Who finished hers <laughs> but I have not and still I mean there's still some work to be done here although I've based it and obviously those things not a huge amount to be done there either I don't know sometimes you just lose lose focus on a on a page I still want to finish these though that is the night voyage and the last one is a buddy color with Jojo Zahanna I'm pretty sure this one is from 2022 yes because it was for our birthday and my birthday is past so we've been working on this like a year and a half and this is Tomislav Tovic Tomic I don't know Sprock Jespos I'm positive I didn't say that right and this is where we are with that one pretty much the same place as whenever the last time was I showed it to you so there we are. I want to finish those whips. Definitely want to finish those whips this year. 
All right, and so now we're going to get on to books I really want to touch this year. In 2024, there's a lot more than this, but these are the ones I want to I want to showcase because they're just so inspiring. Um, and there's quite a theme here, too. You'll start to see it evolve as we go through the books. So this is Fairy Shampoo by... Ooh, who is this by? This was one of those books I wanted for a long time before I actually found it. Original design, Yong He Lee. And so we'll look through it a little bit here. I believe when I showcased this somewhere, I talked about mm, like Zen Doodly design versus intentional design. A video a long time ago. In case you want to look back at my videos and try to find that. I believe this one is intentional design and not Zen Doodly stuff. Love this book though. Love, love, love it. So yes, I definitely want to work in that. Preferably more than once. And from 2023, this was a Happy Mail. And I definitely want to work in this one. I'm going to do a buddy color with the lady who sent me this book. Thank you very much again, by the way. This is Mulgani by Emma Hollingsworth, and this is an, a First Nations coloring book, indigenous style of Australia. I remember when I traveled there in the 90s, yeah, it had to be the 90s, and first discovered Aboriginal art. I was so blown away by it. And it was like the modern day version of Aboriginal art that first caught my eye. And then I started looking more into the historical. When I was there, I had to go in like every museum and every town that I was visiting. And I was there for like four months. So I got to visit a lot of towns. I hiked through the outback. You know, when I was young and wanted to do such things. But this book is amazing. So yes, definitely want to touch that one in 2024. All right, another book that is one of my top favorite books. I couldn't say why, but it's Trolls by DreamWorks. And I guess I haven't even broken the spine on this book, but I love, I love a lot of the pop culture things that come out. I have my eye on a few for this year as well that are coming out. This one is extremely fun. Ah, I think of the colors I could go crazy with here. If this was a movie, I didn't see it because I haven't had anything to do with trolls since I was a kid, but I did like my trolls when I was a little kid. So yes, I definitely want to touch this book in 24. And this book, Cosmic and Eternal Love, an everlasting love story and coloring book by Amrita Sen. And this one actually comes with some kind of disc of music or something. I don't know. I don't have a disc player to play it in, so... I won't be playing it, but you see the theme is <laughs> is beginning to appear here. I have pivoted, I think, to very um, intricate, detailed, detailed work seems to be catching my eye these days. I love this one with the tree, of course. It's got a tree. Super cool book. Again, this is one of those books that I would not say is Zen Doodly. I would say it's intentional design. It's very busy. 
but it's still intentional. All right. Up next, Princess and Fairy coloring book. Tomoko Tashiro. A lot of people have this one. I know a lot of us got it on Book Outlet. I think it was like $6 on Book Outlet. Oh, look at that page. That's awesome. Now, there are many, many books besides what I'm showing you here, here today. Of course, I want to work in Joanna Basford and Hannah Carlson and Lululemon and Erie and Kirby and Alan Robert. All the big ones as well. All right, and my other announcement has to do with this book. The group that was doing Magic Dreamland has decided that we're going to do fairy tales for a little while. I'm not sure how long for either of these groups. We, we're a group. It's a, it's, it's kind of a democracy thing. It's just, you know, whatever we feel like. So we are doing fairy tales in February. And, oh, it's undecided. We're still voting. We're still voting on which page we're going to do. So I can't, I can't pick them out, but... It's very exciting because her old book, Sagarok Sagner, I'm sure I butchered that to death, but is coming out again in 2024. Can't wait. I hope it's on good paper. But yes, in February, the formerly Magic Dreamland group is going to do something in here. So that is exciting to think about. Which is good because I was getting kind of tired of both of those books and wanted to spread my love around, so. I think it will re-energize us a little bit. All right, well, you've all seen that book. It's not new. All right, another book of high interest to me this year is this cool dragon book, Dragons and Magical Beasts Extreme Coloring. You can definitely see the theme of very busy, detailed, intricate. Oh, that's cool. Wow. I don't recall seeing this one before. <laughs> so. A lot of these pages are like exact duplicates of each other, just in reverse. So like there. So I could either decide to do one or both, just depends Depends on how ambitious I want to be. It seems like the other kind are like this image and then it's shrunken down there, but it's the same image. See, so just reversed of each other. Wow, that's busy. But yeah, I find this book to be very, very cool. See, on this particular one, I'd probably just do this page. Some of them, it seems like it would be exciting to do both pages. Like, I'd probably want to do both of those. All right. Color Me Enchanted. By Masha Dion's and Gayla Lazuli. None of these are new, but they're also a little more quirky, not like the big, you know, the big 10 or so. They tend to be a little more off the beaten path. That's the kind of stuff I like. Super cool book. Another unusual one that people were surprised I got. But when I saw the flip through, I'm like, oh, I like a lot of those designs. It's very much like fairy shampoo or trolls. It's got that same kind of kind of busyness and 
pop art quality. Intentional design, like look at that one, that's so cool. I think it's a double page spread, it's hard to tell. I haven't broken the spine on this one yet. I haven't seen whatever that is. I'm just going to color it how I see it. I feel like there's a lot of potential in this book. And, you know, I can really go crazy with pink, too. Another one, Manic Botanic. I know y'all have this one and you never color in it. I haven't colored in it either, but that is a goal for this year. Mine is actually on Amazon paper. But I don't mind I don't mind working on Amazon paper. I've I've figured it out. It's usually kind of an alcohol marker, water-based marker with pencils on top. With the pencils, sometimes I have to use a blending pencil. Perfectly okay. Yes. Love this book. Definitely want to do one in here. No idea which one yet. 50 Graceful Unicorns by Camilla Angel Kova. I like the 50 series like this. I know she still does the 50 series, but they're like simplified big things. I'm not I'm not as crazy about that series. Um, but I have 50 something dragons and there's one with mermaids and I can't remember. There's a few of them. I love the movement in in this picture. The movement of the hair. They're very graceful unicorns. The Dragon Book has similar, similar movement-y vibes to it, as does the Mermaid one. I can't remember what the other ones are. One, there's one or two more, perhaps. Maybe someday I will get those. I haven't done a book a page in that. Definitely want to. Another one I really like that I purchased in 2023 is Feminine Alchemy. And this is more Shutterstock images, but they're very they're very well related. I, I all think they have to do with like feminine power, feminine mystique. There are a lot of super cool pages in here. Some really cool, um, love that one. Some really cool, love this one. Ooh. I like all the ones having to do with older cultures. This is a very nice wallpaper page. Women's Strength, I love this one with the feet. Love this one. You see a pattern. <laughs> My eye has kind of shifted to things like this. There's so much you can do. You can color the patterns or not color the patterns. It's totally, totally in your control. All right, and then I have two here from this series. The Mythographic and the Mythagoria series. Now, these are just meant to represent all of these books, but I do really want to work in Dream Garden. I think it's one of the best ones out there. And I have a whole bunch of mythographics that never seem to get worked in. So it's going to be a, a goal of mine to start pecking away at those. Although I personally think mythographic needs to slow down. I think you're cheapening your brand by putting too many out per year so stop it I only buy them unless they're on the Amazon 3 for 2 sale but I usually prefer to wait until they go on sale at 
book outlet because I don't think they're really worth five or six more than five or six dollars personally so that's a stand-in for all mythographic books and then mythagoria I either have two or three of these thus far um I do like this brand too and they, they kind of fall under the mythographic heading for me except they're gory but yeah I want to work in I want to work in these as well I love this one. Candace inspired me to get this one. All right. And my last two books that I'm just showcasing today are tree books because I have a tree book collection because <laughs> trees are important. Um, I definitely want to color another one or two in Color Yourself to Tranquility. This is the tree version. Um, Melissa Laney, maybe? This is a good book. This is the one I did before, but I would like to do more. I love that one. These trees are so cool. Every single tree is, like, so different. Oh, this one is so nice. Um, yeah. I have many tree books. I'd like to work in all of them. I just got these two out. These are kind of like the top contenders right now. Summer Landscape Way. Yep, I have some pretty cool tree books though. And the last one, Tranquil Trees by Peter Popper Press. Is there an artist? Mm. I don't see an artist. Oh, Shutterstock. Super cool trees here too. Uh, whoever was the editor did a good job of picking out a large variety of trees that are interesting and compelling. This book is awesome because it's single-sided. All right. And those are the books, hopefully inspiring to you in some way, that I want to touch in 2024. We'll see how well I do. I generally don't keep lists, so these books will go under the shelf, and hopefully I'll remember to pick them up. But anyways, I thank you for joining me. I appreciate your time. I hope you're having a fabulous new year. I'll see you next time. Live long and prosper. Bye-bye.